Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm doing this full face look using Makeup Geek products. So, I've used the Manny MUA palette for my eyes. I've used Makeup Geek's blushes and contour palette. And then I've used the new Kathleen Lights highlighter collection. So if you wanna see this tutorial on this look using Makeup Geek, please stay tuned. We're gonna start the look using the Beaches and Cream as our base. Using that same brush, we're going to take Sora and work from the crease, slightly going towards the brow and releasing pressure as you go up, because as you can see, we have pigmentation, ladies and gentlemen. We will use Frappe to go right over Sora in the crease and warm that up using Makeup Geek's pointed crease brush. So I'm just using windshield wiper motions to warm up that crease. Using Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush, we will use Aphrodite for the outer corner. Taking our Morphe 510 brush, I'm going to sweep away some of the fallout first. which cleans up the cheekbone. And then I'm going to just blend all those colors together. Once I blend, I'm gonna look to see if I need to add anything additional. I'm gonna take a little bit of Sora and go right back over the top of Aphrodite. Gently sweep on a little bit more Aphrodite. And then I'm going to blend again. To build up the color and to soften it together. So that we have a nice smooth transition. This palette to me is absolutely gorgeous. It's the Manny MUA palette. Um, I love this palette and now that it's becoming fall because of the reds and greens this will come right back out so that I can enjoy the fall with these looks. Speaking of fall, I'm going to use some of this green color here which is called Insomnia on a flat brush. And the Insomnia actually even though it looks green in the palette comes out as a duochrome, you can see green, and as you tilt your head, it becomes a nice brownish red, just to give a pop of iridescence and color. Using another flat brush, we are going to use the color Artemis, and I'm going to sweep that right up underneath the brow bone. Using my fluffy brush, I'll just soften that. And I will take Artemis on the lower lid into the inner corner. We'll use the Makeup Geek Immortal. I use the same brush that I had with Aphrodite just to pick up a little bit of that green duochrome in the black to give it a little bit more of a out-of-the-box look. 
taking a pencil brush, I'm going to use more Sora. to start smoking out that lower lash line. Wiping off the gel liner that I've just used, I'm going to go back in with the Insomnia right on the lash line. And use that to finish smoking out the lower lash line. Taking our Immortal on a e.l.f. brush, we will start carving out our eyeliner. We will add some Charlotte Tillsbury Mascara. It's time to contour with the Makeup Geek in Bad Habit. Once I feel sufficiently contoured, using Makeup Geek's blushes, I'm going to use Cherish. And I'm going to apply those on the apples of the cheeks. Because we love them apples. Once the apples of the cheeks are done, we are going to use the Kathleen Lights palette that just came out in August of 2016. So this probably is one of my favorite go-to palettes. Um, I use this highlighter palette almost daily now and it's this one has actually kicked aside some of my previous highlighter palettes. And because this is one of my favorite palettes, we're going in with a big brush. I'm going to use Starlight. And look how beautiful this highlighter is. Absolutely stunning. I hope you have your sunglasses on because you're going to need them. And this concludes using the Makeup Geek products on the eyes and the cheeks. The newest to the line of Makeup Geek is the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Collection. And as you can see, they're absolutely beautiful. Now, I did see a few reviews or a few comments that these colors might be too dark and they may not be a good highlighter. So, as always, that intrigues me to see what people say, either positive or negative. When I looked at these, I did think that they were dark. I'm fair skinned, so I wondered myself, is that going to be a problem? But Makeup Geeks never let me down. They have wonderful products. And so I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this because I trust Marlena and her product line. And lo and behold, once again, she didn't let us down, ladies. So I used in the, the look today, the middle one, which is called Starlight. So as you can see, Starlight pops. I have fair skin. This looks like it's going to be a dark color and it doesn't come across that way. So looks can be deceiving. So for anyone that thought those highlighters were too dark for your fair skin, this gives you an indication that that's not the case. As your skin gets darker, you will be able to use those highlighters and have a beautiful punch of highlight and shimmer on your cheek and it's just absolutely eye-catching so makeup geek while at first i was a little concerned about how dark that palette looked for my skin tone you hit a grand slam home run way to go once again, you've just outdone yourself with your product and I am a true believer in what you do and how you do it because you never let us ladies down. Thank you again so much. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or 
refer me to a friend. I thank you so much for your time as there are beautiful artists out there and the fact that you spent it today with me means so much. So thank you again and don't forget, make it a beautiful day.